Hi creatives and welcome back to Agency Academy. My name is Marlen and here on the channel we talk about how to build a business that truly works for you so you have more freedom to create and do the things that you love. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that is really relevant to me right now so I was really thinking about it a lot and that is having a mentor for your design business. Uh, right now I'm mentoring a small business that's just starting out and I am also having a mentor for my own business which has been around for about six plus years right now. There are so many benefits of having the right mentor, but it's really important with things like personal fit, making sure you set clear expectations. And so I wanted to do this video to help you make sure that if you're thinking about getting a mentor, you know what to look for, how to set it up and make sure you get the most from the mentor mentee relationship. This video is also great if you're considering to maybe mentor someone and you want to think about some stuff that could be important for the relationship. So when do you actually need a mentor? I think there are so many reasons to have a mentor, but the most important ones are either when you're feeling really stuck. So if you feel like you've been running your business for a while and you just don't really know why it's not going the way that you want. Maybe you're feeling way too stressed and like even though you're putting in all the work, it's just not growing or developing the way that you want. It could also be just as you're starting out because it can be quite overwhelming to start out. So if you're just starting out, you might have lots of questions, you might have tried to set up everything and you're really wondering what to do. And so here there's often a lot of support you can get when you're just starting out. But even if you've gotten the support and you still feel kind of like confused or unsure of what to do, then a mentor can be a really good thing right from the start. It can also help you like figure out what you stand for, what your niche should be, all these different things that can be really big to think about in the beginning. Another reason that you might want a mentor is if you're somewhat like pivoting in your business, so you're sort of changing something. So maybe you've done a lot of graphic design and you're super curious about maybe pivoting a bit more to illustration and you're sort of thinking like, I'm not quite sure how to build up my portfolio along the way or how should I change my prices or how do I get clients for illustration businesses specifically. And here it can be really good to have a mentor who has already done that journey or who is already an illustrator just so you get input on how that specific industry works. Another situation that a mentor can be really helpful is if you want to grow or like develop a part of your business. So maybe let's say you've got your core design business down and now you want to expand into another country or maybe you want to develop more passive income maybe you want to start offering more additional services rather than pivot so in this situation there's a lot of things to think about and it can be a little bit overwhelming at times so I think a mentor can be a really good idea. Lastly, a great time to have a mentor is if you've been growing your business a lot and you're struggling to handle demand. Maybe you need to start hiring people or contracting people. Maybe you need to do something to handle this demand. And that can be a really good time to have a mentor, to have someone to go with ideas back and forth and talk about, you know, pitfalls and how to think about it and approach it. So that's also a really good time if you're needing to deal with more demand. So now that we know when is a good time to get a mentor, what are the actual benefits? Like what is better with a mentor than if you're, let's say, just looking at YouTube videos and reading up online, maybe joining Facebook groups and stuff like that. So why is a mentor specifically such a good setup? And I think the first one is that you're just getting an honest, like one-to-one -one person outside perspective. So, so many times when we're in our business, we're so focused, we know everything, but it makes us just like a little bit blind to everything that's going on. So having someone who is in a similar industry or just like good at business coaching could be a really good way to get that completely new perspective and see things that you're not thinking about. Another reason that a mentor can be super helpful is you can actually learn from their mistakes. So if they're in an industry and they've been around for longer than you or even just been around also, you can learn from the mistakes that they did and the trial and error that, that they did. And so that way you don't have to make those mistakes yourself, but they can actually give you advice that has worked for them and maybe even the people around them as well. And lastly, I think also sometimes just voicing your different ideas and concerns and things out loud, regardless of what the response is, sometimes just voicing those ideas and thoughts that you're having out loud can be really, really valuable because suddenly you, as you're talking, I've done this tons, like as you're talking, you're starting to notice like, oh, this sounds like too much 
different work or oh this sounds like I'm focusing on too many areas or actually I'm noticing this is actually my core business I should focus on that for example so having that someone to talk to and then hearing yourself back can be super valuable. Okay, so we know why it's valuable to have a mentor and now it's time to think about how to find a mentor. And I think there's so many different ways you can approach this, but a couple common ones are governments typically fund mentors in uh, sort of the startup situation or even in growth phases. So I can only speak for like Sweden and the UK because that's where I've been running businesses. But in both of those cases, there were organizations like Business Gateway, for example, or um, Nyfertagescentrum, which is a startup center here in the town that I'm in. And so what they can do is often match you with someone who has been coaching businesses for a long time. And it can be somewhere between like three sessions to like a year long relationship where you have a mentor. And these are typically free, which is amazing to take advantage of. So if you haven't looked into this already, um, check out what your city offers, because it's such a great resource to just not use, you know. Uh, So that's how I am actually using my mentorship at the moment. I'm coaching someone through this program and I'm getting a mentor for my business through a similar program as well. So it's a really good thing to look into if you haven't already. Another option is to pay for a mentor and this is something where it's kind of like hiring a coach or you know someone who is helping your business with maybe strategy. So I think this is really important to look into the type of industries that they have been coaching previously because it's very different the way that we run our businesses perhaps as creative businesses if it's a solo entrepreneur compared to if you're running an agency. So make sure that you're looking into like the experience that this coach or mentor has. Of course, because it's a paid option, it's not an option for everyone. But if you feel like the city where you're living is not offering you a good free option and you feel like this is something you need to move your business forward, uh, a paid mentor could be an option. Next up, you could also join some sort of community where you have things like masterminds, where you're meeting up to coach each other. So this is a little bit less formal of a one-to-one mentor-mentee relationship, but they can still be super helpful. And I've been in a couple of these and they're so good to get each other's perspective. And also sometimes just for like the social aspect of meeting up with people who have similar businesses. And I think we all have slightly different approaches to like our business strategy, what we charge, uh, how we work with clients. And so it's really good to get all these outside perspectives. And you can find them basically on any social media platform or like in your community, you can look for people or business uh, situations. Like maybe if your community doesn't have a free mentorship program, maybe they have a free business center where you can go and meet and uh, meet up with people that you can organize a group with together. And lastly, you can actually reach out to someone directly that you would like to have as a mentor. So in this case, if you have someone that you really, really admire and you feel like their advice would be so helpful for your business, you can reach out to them directly. And here, of course, it's super important to remember that if this person is going to coach you, uh, they will be taking up their own time that they could have used for something else. So it's really important to be very clear, very focused when you're writing them and write exactly why you think it would be a good fit, what would be in it for them and basically make a little pitch for them. They might not answer, you might not get them as a mentor, but if we're doing it in a very polite and very honest way, uh, I think it can just be a good way to start a conversation anyway. So don't feel like you can't have that as an option. So lastly, I want to talk about how to get the most from the relationship itself, because once you're matched with this person, again, you're both you're going to be meeting, taking up time from each other, and this person is not getting coaching back from you. So it's very important that you're making sure you're asking very clear questions, being organized and getting into that meeting so that the person who is mentoring you is seeing that this is someone who is serious and someone who is going to be using this advice and listening to what I'm saying. The first thing to think about is to be very clear with what it is that you want help with. I know that sometimes we can feel like we just don't know what is not working in our business. We can feel a bit overworked or maybe frustrated. 
And if we just bring that to a meeting, it's very difficult for a mentor to actually know where to start to coach you. So before you go into even the first meeting, make sure that you're thinking about, okay, what are the pain points in my business right now? What do I feel happy about? What type of work do I enjoy? Like, what are the pain points that I would like to fix in my business? And then make that really clear right from the start in the meeting with your mentor. I also think it's a good idea to use this like first initial meeting as a kind of get to know each other. So we don't have to get too personal or too private, you know, but it can always be a good idea to get an understanding of their experience, uh, sort of what they do day to day, what kind of coaching they've done previously, and just get a little bit of a report together so that maybe if you were going to be having coffee once a month for six months or something, that you get to know each other a little bit not necessarily as friends, but kind of a little bit more towards um, getting to know each other on a more relaxed level. Next up is to always come prepared. So if you're having multiple meetings after the other ones, make sure that before you end a meeting, you set expectations for what you're going to be doing for next time, and then come prepared and make sure you have done that. And If you haven't been able to do it for some reason, just make sure that you're clear with why that was the case. And that can become a learning experience. So sometimes life happens, you know, maybe your kid got sick or maybe something happened and a really big project came up and you had to take it to keep running your business. So uh, just make sure that you're being open and honest, because if a mentor is going to help you, it's important that they understand everything about how your business works. And sometimes that just intertwines with personal life. The next thing that's really important is to set expectations. So make sure that you and a mentor really early on, maybe like the first uh, meeting, just set expectations from what type of help it is that you need from them. So we already talked about like what you want to fix in your business, but it can be good to talk about things like, are you looking for advice? Are you looking for connections? Are you looking for like references to different distributors like what is it that you're interested in that you would like and let's say you're asking for advice what type of advice is most helpful to you and what format do you prefer to get advice in so setting up all these different expectations can be really helpful you also want to talk about let's see how long the meetings are going to be so that everyone involved can plan and make sure that they feel calm about uh, the schedule ahead As a mentee, you also need to make sure that the mentor is a good match for you because sometimes we can feel like I just need a mentor and this person is going to know everything and they're going to give me all the answers and that's just not the case. So sometimes it's a personal thing where you're just not clicking, you can't really understand each other on a clear level. Sometimes you just have very different industries or different experiences Or maybe this person has a very different philosophy to you. So for example, when I went into the mentorship, I was saying straight from the start, like, I am not looking to mentor someone who is all about this hustle, growth, stressful mentality that, you know, only profits, for example. I'm interested in someone who cares about sustainability, cares about building a business that works for them. So this is something where if I would have gotten and been matched with someone who was just about the grind... I don't think I could have done a good job as a mentor. So make sure that you're having like similar values and that the mentor maybe has experiences that are exactly what you need to learn from. Sometimes you'll notice this right away and sometimes you have to have a couple of meetings to actually figure out, you know, I'm not really learning from this person and it's okay to quit that collaboration just do it in a very you know delicate way but make sure you say thank you and just say I don't think that maybe your experience is exactly what I need for this stage of my business or something like that but there's no point in taking up both yours time if you're not a good match And the last thing I want to say is uh, pass it forward. So if you had a mentor and you felt like it was really helpful to you and you get to a place in your business where you feel comfortable, you feel like you have figured out how to run your own business, at least mostly because there's always things we can work on. Um, consider being a mentor to someone you know if you've been running your business for three years there might be someone who's just starting out who has a ton of questions that you have the answers to so pay it forward I would love to hear if you've had a mentor or if you're currently mentoring someone uh, drop me a comment and let me know how it went what did you learn from them 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you see when we post. We post every Wednesday and I'm just really excited to see how the channel is uh, growing and evolving and to see all the comments from you guys. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your projects. Thank you.